Hi guys. Okay, so today we're going to talk about something super basic, but I get a ton of questions about it. How do you apply your eye cream? Let's talk about it. So, I have a couple of opinions first on who should be using what kind of product. If you are under the age of 30, you can use an eye gel. It would be awesome if you used it morning and night, but if you just use it once, please use it at night because that's when your little bod repairs itself. Great. If you are 30 to 40 and you like something lightweight in the morning or you're puffy in the morning, use a gel, especially one with witch hazel. This is the Erin Spaces Organic Firming Eye Gel, y'all, and it's good. Um, that's great in the morning. Um, and then a cream at night. If you're over 30, you should be using a cream at night, okay? because they're just better with anti-aging. They just are. If you're over 40, then I would do a cream morning and night. And if you're puffy, you can layer a gel and then a cream. I myself do a gel in the morning, and then I just like the way the gel feels. So I do the gel at night, and I put the cream on top, and they make out. So ideally, with face stuff, being here, you're using a Q-tip if you have a jar. With eye stuff, I don't really care, believe it or not, but we're going to do it. So this is how much you need. I'm rolling the little Q-tip. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's not a lot for both eyes, okay? That's actually way more than enough for both eyes. And here's what you're going to do. I'm going to kind of wipe it off because I'd make a fun. <laughs> it's going to get everywhere. So you're going to go under the eye, do half moons. My eyes might start to look a little more red because my makeup might start coming up, but who cares. Um, half moons under here, and then you're going to circle up under the brow and down the nose. Circles. La la la. Great. Same thing. This is the Firming Cream Concentrate from Erin's Faces. I like this one. It's a little heavier. There's the peptide eye cream if you like a lighter texture to your eye cream. Um, okay, that's how much I'm putting on for both eyes. Okay, so I'm just going to dink, dink, dink. Ring finger! This is very important. So you want to use your ring finger because it's your weakest finger and this is very delicate skin. Okay, so again, you're going to go under here. This is just what I do. This is not official, but... And then I always hook it up around here. And, you know, you see those older gentlemen and ladies that have um, kind of droopy business here. And I would not like to have that. So that's why I do that. If your eye cream while you're sleeping migrates and gets into your eyes, and when you wake up you're very cloudy and you're like, you can't see, then I think you should find a different eye cream because they don't have to do that. These don't do that. So that's what you should do, and it doesn't take long. If you're like, I'm never going to do that, then what I recommend is putting it in your nightstand so you don't have to get up, you don't have to move. You can be in bed and be like, oh, I forgot. Oh, it's right here. How handy. Not a problem. Blah, blah. You don't need a mirror. It's not that deep. Throw it on. It's going to make a huge difference in your life, and when you're 50 or 60, you're going to want to find me and give me a kiss right here, or maybe right here if it really makes a difference to you. Okay, that's it. Bye.